is so scary because this life, this society is all that you know. That's why you suffer from being institutionalized because you've been incarcerated in this jail cell for so long. It's, it's a scary to leave the jail cell because you don't, you don't know what's out there. You don't want to live in a ditch. And we'll worry about the rest later. You don't have that kind of strength. And until you get that type of strength, you will always be somebody's slave. Scary ass. You have China. You have, you do have Africa. You have many places. Your leadership, our leadership, we can always, as a united people, See, y'all don't want to unite because you're really scared to leave. You don't want to go nowhere because if you really were serious about separation, if you was really serious about being free, then you would do what's necessary in order to gain that freedom, including working with a Caucasian man that shackled to your ankle. <laughs> Woo, y'all! You don't want none of this. I'm challenging your hypocrisy. I'm challenging your cowardice. When you are trying to be free, if a nation gave you your own land, then in the beginning, you would have to live probably in a mud hut. Primitive. Until you can build your way to modern things. That's just how it is in nation building. There is no electricity. There is no plumbing. There is no all these all these comfortable things that y'all like. You have to do it yourself and y'all ain't up to it. Many of us don't have any skills. You have to have the skill of a plumber. You have to understand how sanitation, sanitation systems, all these different things. We need all those type of people. But see, you would rather stay here in your comfort instead of get free and live with the wild animals in the jungle and build your own nation. So don't bring me that garbage to me like you want to be free. All that black power, I'm an Afrocentric, I'm a black, that do not impress me at all. Show me your discomfort. Show me your suffering. You have none. i tell you something else. When I was incarcerated, there were those just like you who talk about, man, I want to get out of here. And that's all they talk about. I want to be free. I want to get out of here. They mistreat me. They ain't doing me right. Kiss my backside, all this crap. Then, when the reality hits that they are going to get free, then they get silent. They start bucking down. And see, that's what y'all are. When somebody brings you the reality of your freedom, you start making excuses. Because, see, y'all just some YouTube revolutionaries, Facebook revolutionaries. You have no idea. You do not want to suffer and sacrifice and die for what you talk about you believe in. What you want. Where we gonna go? Where we going It don't make no difference. The only thing you should think about, I need to get out of here. But what about my Xbox? What about my beer? What about my weed? What about my pretty house? I don't care about none of this. It's not really yours. It's just like a chew toy that you give to a dog. That's that's Spot's chew toy. That's not Spot's chew toy. That came from his masa. Everything you have, everything about you belong to your masa. You are an American citizen. You belong to them. You belong to this country that was built on racism that made our ancestors a slave. And that's what you still are today. And I hope that you agree with me on that. And then, 
what usually happens when a people are striving for freedom. It is the man, it is the male that is the first one to go out and do the scouting and do the later foundation before the women and children come. You don't have men willing to do that. But these same, these same old cowardly, sissified men want somebody to respect them. What are you doing to earn respect? How can, how can you not respect me if I go to the jungle fighting jaguars and, and anacondas, chopping down trees, and then when you get there, I have a house built, I have things for us to live off of, I know how to get us food and water, learn how to make clothes. How can you not respect me as a man? I'm telling you, I want to be free, and I've done what I'm supposed to do. No woman, no man can say a dang thing to you. But y'all scared. You comfortable. That's the problem. You really don't understand what freedom really is. You are institutionalized and you want your comfort. What about Xbox? What about YouTube? What about Facebook? I could care less. You will get all those things. Your children will get all those things you think that you lost. When you gain your freedom. And under your freedom, this is my house, my rules. You don't have to worry about the devil. You don't have to worry about racist Caucasian people. You don't have to worry about none of these things y'all talk about. But you're so filled with hate that you can't work with another black man. You can't work with another black man. So I know, since you hate black folks so much, I know you can't work with a Caucasian person that's shackled to your ankle who wants you to be free because once you get free he can go on by his business oh this whoo, if only you really knew what freedom really was I can't explain it to you but I'm telling you some of those who have been incarcerated you have an idea of what I'm talking about I want to end this conversation by saying this to us <clears throat> brother Louis Farrakhan just had a town hall meeting and one of the things that he said that I remember very clearly I always knew and I understand but I don't think that he really understands Minister Farrakhan said that we must have or develop a new mind. A new way of thinking. When you have a new mind, it creates new vision. The old way of thinking keeps you where you are at right now incarcerated, institutionalized. Now, here's a brother who understands that a new mind must be developed, but he himself is still teaching things that's 40 years old, 50 years old, 4,000 years old. Where is your new mind? You take your something that's old and try to put a new spin on it, and believe that is new. That's not the case. If you, excuse being a little nasty, but if you dig up a turd from 1,000 years ago, and just because you shine it up and put it in a museum, ain't nothing new about it. It's still a thousand year old turd, okay? <laughs> Yo, Islam. Your teachings, your way of thought, your thinking is old. It was good for its time. It served its purpose. But now you have to develop a new mind and a new vision. But see, for some of y'all, you can't comprehend freedom. You are institutional.
institutionalized. And when you are, when your mind is incarcerated and you are institutionalized, you can't go beyond your incarceration. You cannot phantom. You can't dream of what the outside world really is. Let me work and do what I can inside the jail cell, in the mess hall, in the prison library. But whatever we do, it's within whatever incarcerated us. You can't comprehend jumping the fence, learning how to survive yourself, running away, and take your chances. Yes, you're going to be uncomfortable. Yes, you might die in the process. I want to give this to y'all as an example. On the boat, in the, in the movie Roots, we know what happened to Kuta Kente, but there was a sister, and she escaped from the tuba, the racist Caucasian people on the boat. And eventually, she jumped off the ship into the ocean. That was the end of her journey. She decided, I'd rather be dead than a slave. We are the children of those. Some of them was like Kuta Kente that knew freedom, but Kuta Kente was beat down. Kuta Kente eventually submitted to his masa. This is another reason why we behave the way we behave. We, we come from the people who did not have the mentality to jump off the boat and die rather than be a slave. We are from the ones who submit to the master and those who decided this is just the way it is. I was born as a slave. I was going to die a slave. And that's why you come up with all these excuses. That's why you have not gained no freedom because you really don't want it. But then you want to get upset when somebody like me challenge you and, and, and anybody can see that you really don't want to be free. You only fool yourself. You don't fool me. I understand exactly the process and what must be done in freedom. And if you are not suffering, if you're not sacrificing, if you're not, if you're not facing extreme discomfort, then you're not going to get freedom. Running around in your cell not going to make you free. Selling DVDs on the street. Making pretty speeches. All these different things not going to get you free. Be an example of your freedom. Get your people together and get the hell out of Dodge. But see, some of you, and this is the bottom line, some of these so-called leaders, they making a living off of y'all. Buy my book. Buy my speeches. They living pretty. Big houses. Big cars. And y'all sit around here. And you living comfortable too. You have your little car in your house. And so everybody's comfortable. Y'all a bunch of comfortable Negroes. Institutionalized. Fake black nationalists. Fake Fake black power. Fake Afrocentric. You all ain't real. And that's why many of you don't like the Reality Temple ministry because when you come this way, you know I know that you ain't real. And those who are real, they don't have no problem with me. But y'all faking and, and doing the funk. I'm not going to let you flop. But that's the bottom line. You are institutionalized and you have become comfortable and you love all of this. I don't. That's why they terminated 60 of my channel because they understood the seriousness and they don't want you to think the way that I think. Because if you did, then all your resources, all your heart, no matter how it hurts, would be directed toward, I need to get the hell out of jail. 
So brothers and sisters, I hope that I did not uh, offend you because I respect all of us and I don't mean to hurt people's feelings or nothing like that, but this is the reality's temple on earth and I have to bring this message to us as real as possible so that we can understand exactly what we're facing if this is really what we want, if that's what we really, reality, if this is really what you want. Otherwise, be quiet, stop perpetrating a fraud and just say, look, I was born as a slave, I was going to die as a slave. And then if that's what you want to do, then, I mean, hey, but stop faking the funk. With that said, brothers and sisters, thank you for listening. Shouts out to everybody. And uh, until next time, this is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. This was and is <laughs> the Reality's Temple on Earth.